what's up? We're back. Second video of the day. Man, we're rolling today. We're gonna put them out this weekend. So, with this video, I'm gonna check the oil real quick. It's actually, I'm gonna check my AC, my Freon and my AC, but it's easier to check the oil. The truck's been sitting for a while, so we're gonna jump into it. So, first things first, I mean, it's as simple as that. We're gonna check, you can see the power steering here. You can see the level right here. It's right under max. The pump is hot. So that's what's up. I'm not having any issues. My oil change is coming up soon. So it's simple. Always wipe your dipstick off. Always pull it out and wipe your dipstick off first. Right? You want a good clean reading from the last time you drove your vehicle. Whether it was the night before, it don't really matter. Stick it back in there. Quick and simple. Pull it out. Check it. Look at that. Perfect. Seeing as I'm probably five, maybe 600 miles away from an oil change, that's pretty normal in my opinion. But check this brake fluid. You can see it's right there at the max. You see the line there. You know that's good. One thing you should always check, pull your cap, make sure your rubber's good in there. It's not torn, anything like that. Pop that thing back on, same here. Got a little O-ring in there. Make sure your O-ring's good. It's not old, dry rotted. Right? Seals off good. So that's as simple as that. So next, we're gonna jump into this AC thing, but you have to start the truck. So walk with me now. So we're gonna start this truck up, get it running, turn this AC on full blast. See what happens. Y'all gonna listen to my uh, broken exhaust manifold bolts also. Oh, it don't sound that bad right now. Give it a minute. So here's the inside, 142,779. Man, see you hear that? So turn this AC, full blast, vent, low. You want it all the way down. So this is the steps here. Let me get back over here. So we got our little gauge here. Bam. Cheap little gauge from Walmart. And right over here is where you're gonna connect it. Now look, if you see this, this is how you can tell if you got it right. See that right there? It will not. I'm telling you right now, it will not fit over that. So you know that that is not your connection. Just a little pointer. This is, most of the time, this is where it's located at on these trucks, especially these Rams right there. This will fit, pull it back, a little quick connect. Snap it on there like that, it's in there. Make sure your valve is completely closed or you're gonna let Freon out. So that gauge is hooked up now. We're running about 50 PSI. I think that's a little high, but at least it's not in the red and in the warning, it's simple. Disconnect, take your cap off. Like I said, it's a quick connect, just pull up snap loose get your cap i have the cap what i do with the cap here's the cap take your cap always screw your cap back on just finger tight like that bam done deal that's how easy it is to check your ac on your well any car really but especially on these rams this 09 ford gen with that keep living the dream doing your thing like and subscribe Auto God DIY rolling out with the AC gauge.